Your purpose in life is to find your purpose, and give your whole heart and soul to it. Health is the greatest gift, contentment the greatest wealth, faithfulness the best relationship. Be vigilant, guard your mind, against negative thoughts. To be angry is to let others. Mistakes punish yourself. Holding on to anger is like grasping. A hot coal with the intent of throwing it. At someone else. You are the one who gets burned. Those who consider the unessential to be essential. And see the essential as unessential. Don't reach the essential living in the field of wrong intention. Thousands of candles can be lighted from a single candle. And the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. The secret of health for both mind and body. It is not to mourn for the past, nor to worry about the future, but to live the present moment wisely and earnestly. To keep the body in good health is a duty. Otherwise, we shall not be able to keep our minds strong and clear. Let us rise up and be thankful. For if we didn't learn a lot at least, we learned a little. And if we didn't learn a little, at least we didn't get sick, and if we got sick, at least we didn't die, so let us all be thankful. Our theories of the eternal are as valuable as are those that a chick which has not broken its way through its shell might form of the outside world. Generosity brings happiness at every stage of its expression. We experience joy in forming the intention to be generous. We experience joy in the actual act of giving something. And we experience joy in remembering the fact that we have given.
Those who attempt to conquer hatred by hatred are like warriors. Who take weapons to overcome others. Who bear arms. This does not end hatred, but gives it room to grow. But, ancient wisdom has advocated, a different timeless strategy to overcome hatred. This eternal wisdom is to meet hatred with non-hatred. The method of trying to conquer hatred, through hatred never succeeds in overcoming hatred. But, the method of overcoming hatred through non-hatred is eternally effective. That is why that method is described as eternal wisdom. There are only two mistakes. One can make along the road to truth, not going all the way, and not starting. Better than a thousand hollow words, is one word that brings peace. To live a pure unselfish life, one must count nothing, as one's own in the midst of abundance. When you like a flower, you just pluck it. But when you love a flower, you water it daily. All wrongdoing arises because of mind. If the mind is transformed can wrongdoing remain? Just as treasures are uncovered from the earth. So virtue appears from good deeds, and wisdom appears from a pure and peaceful mind. To walk safely through the maze of human life. One needs the light of wisdom and the guidance of virtue.